Hi, I'm Nick Leibert with Exit Strategy Realty. Uh, you'll notice that instead of my usual videos where I'm out and about, I'm actually behind a desk today because this is a serious news type information that I'm going to be giving you. We're going to be talking today about credit repair and how important it is to you when you're purchasing a home. Unless you're rolling in the dough and have certified funds, which most of us don't, you're going to be looking for a bank for financing. A good credit score is key because when the banks look at you to determine whether they want to make an investment in a property with you, whether it's your primary residence or an investment home, they want to make sure that you're credit worthy and you're actually going to be making the payments. So they're looking at your credit score. If you have a low credit score, they may reject you altogether or they may ask you for a higher down payment or charge you a higher interest rate. There are three factors we're going to be looking at today that influence your credit score the most. The first one is payment history. If you're delinquent on any bills right now, get caught up, pay those bills, and moving forward, pay all your bills on time. The second factor we're gonna be looking at is credit ratios. In other words, the amount of debt you owe versus the amount of credit you've been given. We wanna to try to keep your credit ratios below 50%. In other words, you owe less than 50% of your total credit allowance every month. And ideally, keep that below 20%. But don't close credit cards out altogether. No. That brings us to our third and final point, length of credit history. The reason why you don't ever want to close a credit card out at first glance is because we're looking at, and banks look at, having a longer credit history is makes you more credit worthy. So try to keep your credit cards open that you've had a long time and don't open a bunch of new cards at once to establish credit history. Open one or two if you don't have a lot of credit cards right now. In addition to these three main factors, for people that are already in the process of purchasing a home, keep in mind, don't go out and buy a bunch of furniture or any other large purchases that may affect your credit score and ratios. And also, don't credit shop. What we mean by that is having your credit pulled at a bunch of different mortgage companies and banks in order to get the best rate. Try to limit it to two or three. Now, obviously everyone has a specific situation that's unique to them. So message me directly if you'd like more information from a credit repair specialist or mortgage lender that we've used before. We'd be happy to refer you. For more information and a lot more videos, go to my website or any of my social media, at Nick Leibert. Make it a great day.